Hey, welcome back to the Midday Q&A. I'm your host, the Duck Man. <laughs> We're back today with another exciting question and answers video. That's right, you two can ask a question. You can ask it on this video or any of my other videos and I will try to address them in the next Q&A. And one of the things that I've been getting asked a lot is what exactly is inside of this envelope. And uh, it's actually been in a couple of my other videos before because unfortunately I released them out of sequence. And a few eagle-eyed viewers actually recognized it and commented and sent me private messages about it and asked, and you guys were right. But uh, we're gonna cover what's in here. In fact, we're gonna bust it open and reveal. We're also gonna talk about a few other things today. We're gonna talk about paddle clusters. For some reason, I've been getting asked about that a lot this week, just a ton. How does the paddle cluster work and why does it not fall onto the floor? Or if yours does, why does it fall onto the floor? So we're gonna talk about that and a few other things. We're also gonna discuss my mailing address and a website that I've been working on. So you guys are gonna wanna watch this video. There's a lot that I'm gonna try to answer and a lot that I'm gonna try to cover. So please stick around and watch. Don't forget to licky likey comment and subscribe, pluck the dingle belly down and next subscribe. That way you get updates every time I upload a new video. And we'll be back right after the intro. I know all of you have uh, really, really been asking about this thing. So let's go ahead and find out what's in it after we do the rest of the stuff. <laughs> let's talk about the pedal cluster that you see down here on my Beetle chassis. This belongs to Eleanor, my 1956 Beetle. And as you probably remember, if you've been following the process on this, you know that I've uh, put a lot of care and attention into creating this pan and uh, upgrading a bunch of different things on it. But uh, there's a pedal cluster and there's a clutch. And as you notice, when I let go of it, it returns to a position and stops. And I was asked, why does it do that? Because a few other people have told me that their pedals are falling onto the floor. And it's actually a very simple part that's responsible for making those stay in place. And you can see it right down in here. See the bolt and the slot that the bolt goes through? That is the pedal stop. And it's actually adjustable. You can push it forwards and back. And depending upon how far forwards or back you put it, would move the position of your pedals. And there's actually a Volkswagen specification that that should be adjusted to. I recommend you adjust it to whatever feels best for you and gives you the adequate throw to disengage the clutch and to, of course, actuate your brakes. If you don't have that stop in place, or for some reason something else is wrong and it's probably rust, what happens is that bolt will pop out or the nut that's welded to the bottom of the floor pan will actually come out and that piece will fall out or maybe the previous owner had lost it or worse yet the floor has fatigued around this area because a big chunk of it has rusted and sometimes it'll cause a dent to form and what will happen is the, the uh, stop will actually move away from the pedals if the stop moves away from the pedals it cannot engage on them and it's pretty simple how the stop works. If Picture my hand as being the stop but my fingers turned up 90 degrees. When the pedal cluster hits it, it actually hits against it like this. If it's too low, it'll go up and it causes the pedals to, as you see, fall down onto the floor. Okay, the pedal assembly actually looks like this from the backhand side. Um, this backhand side, front hand side, backhand side. Boy, I do that to myself a lot. <laughs> this section right here is where the stop would actually come into contact with. If the stop is too far down or if it's missing, then of course this pedal will fall down because there's nothing to actually stop it. It's really simple how this works. The second problem that you have is that if that pedal were to fall down, this is where your clutch cable hooks onto, that hook is no longer doing its job if the pedal falls down. You see what happens now if the pedal's down is the clutch cable can pop right off of that hook. Now I recommend that you actually tie that down with a little bit of bailing wire before you assemble this anyway. That helps in the event that that situation is to happen. It also just helps for the assembly of the pedal cluster. This sucker here uh, needs some serious restoration. It looks like all the parts are here to it, except for the brake push rod. Even the springs and everything are here. I guess a good disassembly and sandblasting on this and a nice coat of paint would probably do wonders for it. But uh, that doesn't involve this project, so it's gonna get put aside for the time being. Well, as you guys know, I've been trying to work on this engine here and get some of these uh, tins painted. Unfortunately, just uh, I've been too busy with work and other related things. And then it turned out that uh, after it rained really hard after the last Q&A video that uh, Unfortunately, the temperature got so damn cold out here that it just wasn't comfortable to work. So I ended up spending the day inside working on my new website. That's right. There's going to be a brand new website coming up at duckshit.net, hoping to launch that later on this month. 
what it's going to be is actually the hub where all of my content gets all wrapped up in one place. So that way you can find all of my YouTube channels, you can find my Instagram, you can find my Facebook. And the beautiful thing is that all I have to do is say, hey, go on up to duckshit.net right here in the corner. You can check out all my stuff. I don't have to give you those long intros talking about all the different stuff that I do and all the different ways to find me. Instead, you go to the one place, you find links, you go there, subscribe, like, follow, whatever it is that you got, and uh, join me. So we can go from there. Real simply put, moving forward on the website, and we're also going to have a little featured videos box where I can put up uh, sponsored videos. Let's say some tool company wants to sponsor me. I'll put their video up in a featured box, or if one of my friends has a video or something that uh, really works for me, we'll put it up there in the featured box. Another subject of discussion this week, and actually the past several weeks, has been Carlos. And Carlos's beetle has had a numerous amount of problems, and only some of which I was actually able to even help him out with. Uh, he had a problem with a rocker that was falling apart, and you probably saw his video up on his channel. If you haven't checked him out already, check out Carlos Soriano. You can find his link down below in the video description. I'll also post it down as one of the first to pinned comments. Uh, you can find him over there, and you can see he was working on replacing the rockers. Now that video was actually released before he was discovered that he had a bigger problem. Turns out he actually had a stuck valve in the brand new head that he got. Uh, I don't know where the head came from or who did the machine work on it. I'm not able to help him with that because it's a 1776 engine and most of what I have here is, is stock. And of my stock heads, everything I have either has holes in it, cracks in it, or it's worse than the shape that he's got. From what he had found out, and uh, he sent me a, a little photo, he put a borescope down the intake manifold and uh, discovered that it looked like one of the valve seats actually popped out of the head and is holding the valve open and it's probably pretty safe to assume that that valve has been struck by the piston at some point while it was running. So that head and maybe even the piston on that cylinder are in some pretty bad shape. Now I can certainly help him with the work, but as far as the parts are concerned, I'm afraid he's gonna be responsible for them. You know, I, I can't go putting hundreds of dollars into his car. I mean, it's, you know, that's not right to me. I've got my own finances and my own budget to work with. He is driving it though, quite a surprise. Driving it even though it's been running on only two cylinders after he did some of the uh, valve work on it, uh, it started running on different cylinders, which is really weird. But the one cylinder that has the stuck valve is the one that has been trouble since the beginning uh, when you replace that head. So apparently there's always been a problem there and that was the one that kept dropping off push rods that kept popping out. So maybe the rockers weren't absolutely to blame. Maybe that valve uh, periodically was dropping the guide and maybe the guide would suddenly go back into place. You know, that's why the valves all looked even most of the time when you did valve work on it. and then why the thing would always come out. But Carlos is working on his own schedule, I work on my schedule, and two of us really don't meet up a whole lot in between. Uh, he's got his car with him, he has to drive that thing even though it's only on two cylinders. He's, uh, he's wearing his big boy pants and he's an adult now. You know, he's uh, gonna be 21 I think soon, I, I think he's 21. But uh, yeah, he's got his own responsibilities. He really doesn't need me except for maybe a little bit of help here and there, and he contacts me when he does, and he knows that I can't help him always. But when he needed a set of rockers, hell, I had a set ready for him, but somebody else ended up donating a set before I could get these to him. But yeah, it looks like he's gonna probably wind up needing a new head or at least a valve job on it. I don't know if you could press another valve seat into that head and, and be done with it. It may have. It very well may have cracked between the uh, valves, and what happens is on, on the head, there's two valves typically intake exhaust right next to each other. If a crack forms between them, the, the uh, head actually opens up just a hair and those seats will fall out. And that could very well be what happened to him. He might have just had a crack that formed in there and the seats fell out. He hasn't gotten a head popped off yet. Hopefully he will this weekend. I'm excited to see what's inside of there, but uh, I'm sure he'll release a video up on his channel. Uh, keep sending him comments on his videos. I know he doesn't respond to them. I've been getting on his ass about that. You know, Carlos, hey, you got to respond to the people that are asking you questions or sending you comments. At least say thank you, you know, or hello. Um, responding to comments is, is a big and very important thing on YouTube for your engagement, as YouTube likes to call it. The more you can engage people to commenting on your video, the more exchange you have back and forth, the better that video will be rated in their little content system that they have. Uh, all with that YouTube algorithm. A lot of the things that I do that you guys hate, I'm sorry. <laughs> I do them for the YouTube algorithm. I try to get my videos rated a little bit higher. I mean, that stuff does matter to me. You may not like it. You know, there's a lot of things that it's just you may not agree with, but I got to do it because YouTube makes me do it. But anyway, that's enough on that. Another thing we've got coming up is I'm getting a brand new P.O. box. That's right. I'm moving all my mail to a P.O. box across town. I'm actually going to try to finalize that tomorrow, and then I'm going to push the uh, address um, 
up on videos and Skeeter's birthday is coming up uh, two weekends from now. She's going to be 17 so hopefully we'll, we'll accept some gift cards and stuff. It was one of the limitations why I didn't have people doing that this year because I knew my other P.O. box was going to expire and I was sick and tired of paying their way too expensive fees. So I was going to move it over to uh, a virtual mailbox place across town instead. So anyway, if you watched the last Q&A video, remember this uh, manila envelope here. A lot of people were curious what was in it. I said I had sold my white beetle. Now for those of you that are really eagle-eyed, you remember, uh, if you're watching a tech session video, you remember that joke that I played on Carlos. What's in that envelope is uh, $10,000. That's right, $10,000 in that envelope. That white beetle sold for $10,000 in fake Chinese money. See the Chinese print on it? This is movie money. $10,000 worth of movie money. There's 100, $100 bills here. And uh, this, Basil, thank you very much, but you know, if you sent me fake money, it might be $10,000. I wasn't even asking that much for the car, but <laughs> if you're gonna send me fake money, I have to send you a fake beetle. Here's the fake beetle. There you go. <laughs> so for those of you that were in question as to what it was, it was quite a surprise to me when I opened the envelope. But I know I didn't order this, like I said, he sent it from Amazon. You don't send somebody payment for something through Amazon. I don't think Amazon has any type of banking services, not yet anyway. I wouldn't be surprised if they wind up doing that in the future like Walmart has. But yeah. $10,000 fake money. So as a prank, I've been leaving these around town in all kinds of different places and I've been watching people to see what they do. I think I'm gonna actually hang one out the bottom of my mailbox and see if uh, on my security cameras what happens to it. I might even stick one, you know, in, in my car hanging out of the fence. No, that's probably not a good idea. Somebody, somebody will probably break into my friggin' car because they see money sticking out of it. That's a bad idea. But I won't mind hanging one off the mailbox. <laughs> I've been wanting to, um, weld a nail to the back of a uh, quarter and hammer that into the street also just the same as see if anybody comes along and tries to pry the damn thing up and I'll keep that on security camera just the same. Yeah, hundred dollar bills, I mean these things are, they're convincing except for the Chinese print that's all over them. All the serial numbers on them are all the same also, not a surprise, it doesn't even feel like real money, it feels fake. It's, it's very obviously cheap paper and printed in China. But for those that have seen these, they said, oh, it's, it's a Chinese hundred, but why does it say United States? I said that's because we now outsourced all of our currency printing to China. <laughs> so anyway, it's a few short of 10,000 because like I said, I've been handing these out to friends and I've been leaving them places to see what, how people react. I have not yet done this to any waitresses or serving help yet. I mean, I always leave good tips anyway. 10% is bullshit. I leave 20 to 30% and if they've been really good, 50% or more. It would be funny to just leave one of these on top of the regular tip, you know, just slip it in there. Fold it up in such a way that, you know, just the corner of it sticks out. They'll see it right away. I, I would go tease some strippers with this stuff, too. But I, I don't think they'd have a sense of humor on it. I think they get pretty nasty. <laughs> strippers aren't somebody you want to mess with. They, they can be pretty friggin' crazy. Usually methed out and just lunatics. I'm not a frequenter of strip clubs anyway, but... It happens. Usually you're out with a bunch of friends and you wind up stopping someplace and that's one of the places that some of my friends like to go. Now that you guys know what's in there, uh, I mean, did you think that was kind of funny or cool? Was it worth holding out for? I think I needed to prank Carlos at least once and had I have not released the videos out of order, you would have seen them in the proper order. Anyways, as always, like, comment, subscribe, pluck that dingle belly, see down our next subscribe button, and we you get updates every time that I upload a new video. Don't forget to check out Duckman Cycles VW Garage up on the Facebook group page. Check out duckshit.net right up here in the corner. I think it's in this corner anyway, right up here, duckshit.net. That is my website address, and uh, it's currently pointing to my Patreon account. You too can be a member and uh, help sponsor or support this channel and my projects and the things that I work on. Uh, the little bit that you guys help me with has helped me to get new camera equipment. And geez, I really paid through the nose for that. And uh, as well as any tools or other stuff that you guys want to see. As I said, P.O. Box is coming up soon. So if you guys want to send me something you'd like me to feature, or if you're interested in getting your video featured up on my new website, also check out the Patreon, duckshit.net. We'll, we'll give you details as to what there's actually a tier for sponsorship if you're interested in it. And it's, uh, it's relatively cheap. So for those of you that are out there, business people that are out there that want to get their tools featured in their own video and not actually show me demonstrating the tools, you can have your own place for it. Thank you very much for watching, you guys. Really do appreciate it, and we will see you next time. <laughs> I'm going to have a little fun over here. Tyrone's coming home from work in a little while. I don't know if I'll be able to catch it on film, but let's see what he thinks of that. <laughs> all that noise. Tyrone is home. <laughs> Let's see if he sees it.
fail. So yeah, he missed it. <laughs> I went over there and I asked uh, when he came out for a smoke if uh, he got the treat that I left him and he didn't know what I was talking about. So we opened up the trash can and laying in the bottom of it, there it was. And his eyes opened real big. I said, it's fake as hell. I said, don't try to spend it. I said, but you could take it inside and play a trick on your wife with it. And he couldn't wait. So <laughs> he just took it inside. We'll see what happens with it. But of course, it's not going to be in this video. Thanks for watching, you guys.